What's up everybody? Justin here from Row 9 Studios going in to see Star Wars Episode 9 with my wife and my daughter. I'm so excited. I will give you a reaction as soon as I get out. No spoilers, I promise. Hey guys, <laughs> this is Ryan from Row 9 Studios. We're going in to Rise of Skywalker right now. Caleb is dressed up as Kylo Ren. He's got the mask. We're headed in now. We will get back to you after the movie. No spoilers, we promise. No spoilers at all. Just our instant reactions. This is Row 9 Studios going into Rise of Skywalker. All right, everybody, Justin back. Just finished Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. I loved it. Everything I wanted it to be and more. I will not spoil anything. Some great moments for longtime fans. If you hate this movie, you're just an idiot. It's that simple. <laughs> it's really good. You'll like it. I'm not going to yell like he is. Anything you want to say back there? Are you hiding? Daughter's hiding. Anyways, loved it. Go see it. We'll talk about it later. Hey, this is Ryan here with Row 9 Studios. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't say anything. I won't say anything. It was everything that I wanted, nothing that I expected, and it is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't wait to see it again. Guys, what'd you think? Good. Ugh, greatest movie of all time. Yeah, it was amazing. We'll be, we'll be back with you as soon as we give you enough time to go watch it, but please, please, please go see it. It is amazing. A wonderful way to end the Skywalker saga. This is Row 9 signing off at the premiere of The Rise of Skywalker. Hi, welcome back. You just saw our reactions, our anticipation right. from going to see the movie last night. Um, we just wanted to get back with you and just tell us, tell you our thoughts right. after a day of sitting on it. So right. I'm Ryan. And I'm Justin. And thanks for joining us for another uh, slightly different round table. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Rise of Skywalker. Right. What do you think? Um, well, first, first, before I guess we get into that, let's just say we're going to keep this spoiler free. That's right. For spoiler you guys, because we know not everyone's had a chance to go see it yet. We want to make sure you, you get the time to go see it. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely, I loved it. Um, my excitement was high going in. Yep. You know, I was like, all right, I'm ready for this. It should be good. Um, I'm, I'm one of the people that I've liked all of them from one through eight. All of them, to me, have had their own feel to them. Yeah. And not only have they had their own feel, they've also felt overall like a full story to me. Yeah. Um, and that really came into play when I watched them all back to back before I went and saw Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so my excitement was super high for Nine. And then just walking out at nine, I just like needed to talk yeah. about it really. Yeah. And it, which was hard, especially at that time, because I went and saw the six o'clock, like first showing the theater had. Yeah. And so like, I'm walking out of the theater and it's like, can't really talk to too yeah, many people yeah, yet. Yeah. Cause you know, some people are still in it. I don't want to spoil it to anybody in the parking lot. I was telling my kids to be quiet when we were right. walking out. I said, don't say anything yet. Let's get in the car first. Right. So uh, just super happy. I think it did a great job of tying up the trilogy yeah. and tying up everything from one on. Yeah. You know, it, it tied up the saga really well. I feel like it gives us closure. Yeah, very much um, so. I know, you know, I know there's going to be people that there's lots of things they're going to be like, uh, I don't know, just because it does have a lot of fan service. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it's interesting because I think Disney's at that point where it's either no matter what they do, someone's going to hate it. Yeah, I agree. I you agree know, like Force Awakens came and people were like, oh, it's too much like the original trilogy. And then they tried Jedi, which was very, or very I should different. say Last Jedi, which was very different. Very different. And there were a bunch of people who hated that. Yep, yep. I think this one does a nice job of balancing some of that. And it, um, I think in, I think at this point, I think if you're 
coming out of this movie and you're like, oh, I didn't like that. You're just trying to find something. Trying to find something. You're just trying to not be happy about Star Wars because it was a good Star Wars movie. Yeah. And it gave you everything you could want, whether you were a fan of the new trilogy only yeah. or you liked Star Wars in general. I, I completely agree with you. Um, I loved it. Uh, I knew I knew that I loved it after the first after the opening. Yes. I knew already. Yeah. I just thought uh, it was just the way they did everything. Like you said, it wrapped up this tril trilogy beautifully. And it really brought everything together for the whole saga. Yes. And um, for me, one thing that was really cool for me is that uh, I know your daughter is just now kind of yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, three out of the four of my kids have loved it. Have yeah. gone with me yeah. for each of these movies. Right. And... It's been really cool to live through Star Wars with them. Right. And so at this point, um, Rise of Skywalker was my favorite. Yeah. Of all the Star Wars. Yeah. And this uh, sequel trilogy yeah. is my favorite. And, I, yeah. I, and I've said to you a couple times, yeah. I really thought that Force Awakens was what A New Hope should have been. Right. If they had the capabilities of doing Back then, it, right, and if George Lucas wasn't writing the dialogue, right, right. Um, so it really, uh, I really love this this trilogy, and we still got to give credit to George Lucas because this is the story itself it's is built classic. Yeah, it is amazing, um, and I think J.J. Abrams did a really good job. Yeah, I I definitely agree. Um, I think going into that opening sequence without spoiling anything, um, that opening sequence has some heavy fan service. If, how do I want to say this? Heavy fan service if you were thinking about certain things. Other oh people are going to be like, I know. What? But it, like, for me, and I know for you, mm -hmm. just based off of some conversations we had um, previous, there there was definitely some things in there. You're like, oh, that was that was cool. That's exactly how I wanted that I to go. And yeah, I agree with you. It was just like, ugh, I I couldn't get enough of that opening. Yeah, that opening. It was yeah. it was fantastic. I was, you were on the edge of your seat. Yes, right from the get go. Yes. And I was surprised that they started that way. Yeah, I was too. We talked about it. I was too. We, I was surprised they started that way. Um, but it was just, it was brilliant. And then it just, just coming full circle all the way to the end. Yes. Um, Very much so. Was, was amazing. Yeah. I mean, we, there's so much we wish we could say. Right. And we right. just can't say it. Right. Because we don't want to spoil it to you guys. Yeah. Um, I definitely, I do think going from that... I think they did a nice job pacing wise. Yes. Like, cause that first, that first sequence kind of hits and you're like, whew, and then it just goes. Yeah. You never, I never felt like I was like, oh, this is the boring poverty scene. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or, oh great, we're gonna listen to the Galactic Senate talk for five minutes, right. 10 minutes. There was never, never any of that moment. Happened. It was like, go, 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 go. Yep. Very fast paced, um, with and you'll understand when you see it why it needed to be that way. Yes, it needed to be fast paced with yes. the plot of this, and it just really, it really did a good job with it. JJ Abrams did a great job, and as always, um, I thought Adam Driver yeah. was amazing. Yeah, as Kylo Ren, I think all of them did really well. They they were they he were all well. great. He's a Daisy he, really did yeah, did she great. Was great. That stand that to me Adam Driver is a standout performer in, in this. this and Daisy Ridley was great too yeah um and seeing some of the uh old faces right was... and, and there were some surprise old faces in yeah. there too nothing that's going to change the story yeah but just some like you're like I remember that from yeah. you know episode three or episode four or whatever there's just some there are a few little surprise like yeah oh that was kind of a cool cameo I didn't expect yeah. that coming and I think that the whole movie went it went the way we expected but it didn't 
Right. It you definitely know, I mean, had different pieces that, to it. Some things that we really thought, hey, maybe this could happen. And then they kind of did it. But didn't. But didn't do it. Yeah. And so it was really yeah. cool to see how they just, it, it's, I told Justin that I heard someone say it was everything they expected and nothing they expected. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It is a good so way to put it. It was just, yeah. it's just really good. And we can't wait for you guys uh, to see it. Yeah. Um, you'll you'll definitely be happy if you're a new trilogy person. There's lots of new characters, lots of uh, action and excitement. Um, some classic Star Wars lines mixed in. Uh, oh yeah. Um, you know, there's you get a lot of the classic characters. Yeah. I shouldn't some say a lot, stuff. but you get some good classic characters. It's not spoiling anything to say Lando's in it, um, and he plays his part. Yeah, he he's well. not. He I would. Well. Yeah, I mean, so he plays his part, and he's, you know, three CPO has been in the other ones, CPO, and I finally yeah. feel like in this one, he felt like he was an original trilogy. Three CP, three C, three PO. If yeah. I can talk, um, you know, again without spoiling anything, his just his lines felt very classic yeah, to me. That. They weren't. They weren't sad 3PO. Yeah. They were classic 3PO smart aleck lines, yeah. um, which was which was great, I think. Yeah. Um, so I think if you're a longtime fan, there's stuff you're going to love. Yeah. If you're a new fan, um, you know, a younger kid like like our kids, mm -hmm. um, it's it's perfect. It, yeah. it fits everything in that regard. Yeah. Um, can't can't really you know go into too much detail with anything just sets are amazing the backgrounds yeah. the the visual look of it all it's all beautiful yeah all um, there's definitely times where i was like "Ooh, back that camera out because i want to see the full scope of it again yeah. not the tight close-up but um you know it's one of those things that i think people who want a specific movie like who want a very in-depth thought-provoking movie they're gonna probably be the ones that are like, eh, it's no good. But those who have just come to be like, Star Wars isn't thought provoking. It's just not a deep thinkers thing necessarily. It just is. It just is. It's it should be fun. There's yeah. things to think about. There's mystery. There's action. There's adventure. Just go into it with that mind of like, this is gonna be fun. This yeah, is gonna I give agree. me callbacks to every other movie and yeah. wrap everything up. For me. I agree. So, well, like we said, we'll give you a couple weeks uh, to go see it, and then we'll have our full review with myself, Justin, and Kahari when he finally sees it. Yep. And we'll we'll get back to you guys with that. Please uh, let us know in the comments what you thought of it yeah. without any spoilers. Right. Uh, we're gonna leave this hopefully leave this whole thread spoiler free. So let us know what you thought of it. Share our video. Like our page. Um, subscribe. Uh, to our YouTube channel. Find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter at Row 9 Studios. So, hope you enjoy The Rise of Skywalker. This is Row 9 signing off. Row 9.